Hi, I'm Evie Kirkwood from St. Joseph County Parks. Join me as we experience nature together. Outdoor Elements is presented in partnership with the St. Joseph County Parks Department, regional parks with natural fun, St. Patrick's County Park, Ferretti Bago Creek County Park, Bendix Woods County Park, and the Spicer Lake Nature Preserve. On today's Outdoor Elements, Evie is finding examples of more green living. Visit an energy park to hear the basics of solar and wind power and which might be right for you. See how a company is making a difference with green portable restrooms. Up first, Evie finds out how to select sustainable seafood as we prepare a tasty meal. Today we're at Fernwood Botanical Garden and Nature Center to talk about, of all things, sustainably harvested fish and cooking with that fish. We're going to chat with Executive Chef Tim Kerrigan in Fernwood's Cafe, so let's head into the kitchen. Well, we're inside Fernwood Cafe's kitchen now with Chef Tim, and we are going to prepare a fish dish using a fish that was sustainably harvested. Correct. So what are we going to make today? We're doing a uh, farm-raised catfish, U.S. farm-raised. Perfect. We got the nice fillets, kind of what we're looking for when you go out and get your fish. Make sure, you know, you want to take a look at the color of it. Make sure it's not slimy. Yeah. So what we're going to do good. is we're going to put a little salt and pepper right here on your fish. This is kind of a fast dish. Fast is good. So fast good, is good. good supper after work kind of dish. Absolutely. Kind of dish. We're going to put in a little bit of flour here. Okay. Now, as you're doing that, um, you know, why should we be concerned with selecting fish that's sustainably harvested? Well, you know, through the years, the popularity of fish has grown. It so is. a lot of the oceans have started being depleted of certain varieties of fish, you know, flounder and shrimp, and uh -huh. um, through the years, tuna and some other things. So Getting some of the locally grown seafood is, you know, it's nice because it's a little more regulated. Uh -huh. It has a, um, you know what's being fed. So, right. And, right. It's, and it's a little, you know, being locally grown, that's you know where it's coming from. Right. Now, we should mention that a lot of the sustainably fish um, lists are provided by the Monterey Bay Seafood mm -hmm. Watch program. Sure. And so th those folks research with scientists and people who farm, raise fish, and um, people who study water quality so they can come up with a list. Sure. U.S. farm raised catfish is one of the best. So I'm glad we're fixing that today. Absolutely. as the catfish here is sizzling away, which it smells good already, Tim. Um, you mentioned it's farm-raised. Correct. Some fish, I understand that's farm-raised, is good and sustainably mm -hmm. raised, and others aren't. And um, I know some of the issues with farm-raised fishes uh, that could be concerns is sometimes they're harvesting wild fish to feed farmed fish. Right. And that doesn't make any sense, especially it it's if crazy. it's crazy. Yeah. And then there, sometimes, as with any place where there's a lot of animals in a contained space, there's problems with the waste. And right. so sometimes the waste contaminates the waters for the native fish. Absolutely. So that's, that's a problem. So farm-raised catfish, good. Farm-raised salmon is not, not so good. Not so good. Not so good. But Alaska wild salmon is, is a good choice. Correct. And I mentioned um, briefly about the... Uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium and their Seafood Watch program and I happen to have on my smartphone the application for the Seafood Watch list and I've loaded the Central US system and I can select the seafood guide here and it provides an alphabetical list of fish. You can see here's catfish and lo and behold it says US farmed is a best choice which is great. I can click on it, it provides me all kinds of information about catfish and 
uh, how it's raised and why it's good or not good to use in our cooking. So that's kind of fun. Yep. Looks like you added some more ingredients there. So We just did a little fresh parsley on the top. Give it a little color. Yep. That's what we're going to do is we're going to add a little fresh ginger. Mm. Which you can find in most of the stores, which will bring off a really nice flavor off oh, your yeah. pan. And smell. And the smell, of course. That's great. So what we're going to do is we got fresh plums. Ah, which is okay. a nice time of the year type of thing. Yeah, late summer, fall, perfect. Some red peppers. And we got a little bit of green onions for color. Oh, that's what we're going to do is move that around in the pan a little bit. And you, you have this on a medium, medium, medium heat, heat, right? So. Yeah, because you get a nice color off your pan. Yep. And bring a little of the flavor off the pan. We're going to add a little bit of white wine. Ah. Which will actually make the sauce. Mmm. And a fresh squeezed orange. You know, the all, all, always I thought with cooking on TV is you can't smell this. When you're watching right. at home, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> it's great. So we're going to let that reduce a little bit. Yep. Okay. All right. It's a quick dish and, you know, with it being a smaller fillet, it's tender. Like I say, it cooks very quickly. It's on the table before you know it and very, done in one pan. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice, yep. nice option. It's excellent. And the colors are beautiful in there, isn't mm -hmm. it? It just looks great, fresh, and nice and light. That's great. We're going to let that simmer a little bit. Are we going to be able to taste this fish? Absolutely. Okay. I'm excited about that. I love fish. And, uh, you know, I think also in terms of people being ecologically savvy about what they purchase, fish is often a good healthy choice too, right? Absolutely. Okay. All right, so we're going to plate this and we're going to go sit out in the cafe and sample? Absolutely. All right. actually sitting outside now at Fernwood's Cafe. Folks can come and enjoy meals here at Fernwood, can't they? Absolutely. All year round. We're open every day but Monday. Okay, so um, the good news is there are quite a few species of fish on that Monterey Bay Aquarium watch list that are good. Sure. Pacific halibut is a good one. Are there some others? That farm you raised mussels, oysters, farm -raised clams. clams. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. So, um, the other good news is that I get to try this. Absolutely. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna take a, oh, and you know what? See, this is what I'm not, just always impressed. It's such a nice little crust on this fish. Mm. And you're right, the um, ginger yeah. just gives it a nice little perky flavor, which I like, it's terrific. In general, in terms of people thinking about going to the grocery store, picking out fish and thinking about if it's sustainably harvested or not. Mm -hmm. You mentioned when we first started some things you know that people should think about. Hopefully people will think about sustaining the oceans. We Absolutely. want the oceans to be around forever. Correct. And we want the creatures that live there to be mm -hmm. healthy and we want us to be healthy too. Right. So I think um, this is a pretty good combination. Thanks. So folks can stop on out to the Fernwood Cafe try any of Chef Tim's great dishes and we'll have information on the Outdoor Elements website about that seafood watch list so you can learn more about how to purchase fish appropriately. Thanks Tim. Thank you. Coming up, Evie visits an energy park to hear the basics of solar and wind power and which might be right for you. Have you had a chance to check out the Outdoor Elements webpage? It's a place to watch Outdoor Elements shows that you've missed and so much more. Do you love to take pictures of nature? Click on the Gallery tab and check out nature shots submitted by other viewers. And while you're there, share some of your own. You can also find Outdoor Elements wallpaper you can download for your desktop. It's a great way to remind yourself of all the Outdoor Elements around you. There's lots more to see and do on the Outdoor Elements webpage, so click on over.